Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be revising questions of agro-based industries, geography, class 10th, ICSE. So let's start. The first question, rapid industrialization in India is needed. Why is it needed? D, all of the above. Now, what exactly are the options? What is needed? Why is rapid industrialization in India needed? Because through industrialization, the development of agriculture can be initiated. Agriculture alone cannot generate employment and it may bring technological progress, which is vital for a country's economic progress. Second question, which of the following statements is or are correct? Uh, A, B, C or D, it would be D. Now let's read the above three options. So through industrialization, infrastructures like railways, roadways, dams, etc., can be constructed. Industrialization is a necessity for a country's security. This is very important. This is also correct. Only through industrial development, self-reliance and defense can be achieved. Okay, let's move on to the third question. Expansion of industries in backward regions of India is needed. Now, why is it needed? To counter regional imbalance, to make more money, to make people aware of technology, or D, all of these. The correct answer would be A, to counter regional imbalance. Let's move on to the next question. The fourth question, which of the following statements is are correct? Through industrialization, India can free itself from the adverse effects of fluctuations in the prices globally. India should adopt the policy to import less of primary products. And third, India should export more manufactured goods. So of course this would be D, all of these. The above three options are all correct. The fifth question, the industries that are dependent on the raw materials produced by agriculture sector are known as, they are known as agro-based industries. Sixth question, which of the following cannot be a raw material based industry? So B, heavy industries cannot be a raw material based industry. Seventh question, which of the following is not correctly matched? So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in a bit. Okay. And I'll just scroll back. Seventh question, which of the following is not correctly matched? So Cotton is with agro-based industries. Fertilizers is with heavy industries. Now, this is false. So B will be the correct option. Let's move on. The eighth question. Which of the following cannot be categorized as animal-based industry? So if you look at all the options, of course, a resin industry is not exactly categorized as an animal-based industry. The rest of the industries are categorized as animal-based industry. Ninth question, which of the following can be categorized as mineral-based industry? So if you see the options, of course, the correct answer will be D, all of these. Iron and steel, heavy engineering and cement are all part of mineral-based industry. Let's move on. Tenth question, the industries which produce heavy and bulky capital goods, heavy and bulky capital goods and consumer durables are also known as A, heavy industries. So let's move on. To 11 question. Heavy industries are characterized by what? So, huge capital, large quantity of raw material, and scientific knowledge. So, D would be the correct answer. Light industries are characterized by less capital, fewer workers. So, yes, both of these are true. So, C would be the correct answer. Large scale industries are characterized by what? So, they are categorized by huge capital, large number of skilled and unskilled labors production of large goods, so D would be the correct answer. Let's move on. 14th question, which of the following is not correctly matched? So ship building, medium scale industries, this is true, automobile, large scale industries, true, food processing, small scale industries, this is false, so D will be the correct answer. Moving on to the 15th question, small scale industries are not characterized by what? Managed by a private individual, less workers, less capital investment, neither too uh, big nor too small. So D would be the correct answer. Sixteenth question. These industries are owned and managed by central government or state government. So they are central government owned companies or state government owned industries. So what do we call them? This is extremely important. We call them public sector industries. Seventeenth question. These industries are owned and managed privately by individuals or groups of individuals. This is known as private sector industries. So from the question itself, you can uh, basically formulate a definition. So industries that are owned 
or managed by central government or state government are known as public industries whereas industries that are owned and managed privately by individuals or group of individuals are known as private sector industries let's move on to the next question 18th these industries are owned managed and controlled jointly by private entrepreneur and the government these types of industries are known as joint sector industries so in the following question so say for example in the uh, next question also the industries in which people with limited means and resources pool their physical and material resources are called now these are called cooperative sector industries so from the following questions uh, say for example in 16 17 18 19 you can formulate definitions of public private joint and cooperative sector industries now the definition of joint sector industries would be industries that are owned managed and controlled jointly by private entrepreneur and the government and they are known as joint sector industries and finally you can also formulate another definition of cooperative sector industries wherein industries in which people with limited means and resources pool their physical and material resources and they are called cooperative sector industries so if you note that down that would be helpful to you 20th question which of the following is not correctly matched so you are given a group of companies and along with them they are matched with their respective sector industries so the correct answer in this case would be tcs which is a public sector industries this is false tcs is a privately owned industry it is a uh, or you could write it as public it's a private sector industry anand cooperative society is yes cooperative sector industry automobile corporation of goa is a joint sector industry so what do you mean by joint sector industry uh, these uh, industries that are owned managed and controlled jointly by private entrepreneur and the government so it is a joint venture 21st question requirements of this industry are availed from the village itself this would be village industries 22nd question weaving is an example of cottage industry so a would be the correct answer 23rd question the industries which depend on other industries for their manufacturing are called basic industries a 24th question the industries which process the basic raw materials into primary goods for direct use by the consumers what are these industries called they are called secondary industries so let's move on the 25th question industries which provide public utility based services public utility based services they are known as tertiary industries so as i said before in the following questions you have uh, you can formulate your own definitions so say for example industries which depend on other industries are called basic industries industries which process basic raw materials into primary goods for direct use by the consumer are called secondary industries and then finally industries which provide public utility based service are called tertiary industries so you could write these definitions down 26 question the industries which provide spare parts or components required by large industries these are known as tertiary industries okay so let's move on to the next question 27 the distribution of industries which is highly uneven in india now what's the reason non accessibility of raw materials correct no non accessibility of energy resources this is also correct so c would be the correct answer okay so let's move on to the next question 28 the uneven distribution of industries in india can be attributed to what so read the following options all the agro based industries are located in areas where raw materials are available b c or d it would be d all of the above so first is correct second is the forest based industries are located in the forest areas this is also correct c the coastal regions have huge availability of copra coir and fish canning and so the industries are also located there So, say for example, an iron ore industry is located close to an a uh, highly rich iron ore reserve. Why? So that they can save on transportation costs. So it makes no sense to establish a factory which is say thousand kilometers from the richest iron ore deposits found in India. You have you would have huge transportation costs. So let's move on to the next question. Twenty ninth. India cannot be divided into the following industrial regions. So you have Hooghly Belt, Mumbai Pune Belt, Mumbai Pune Belt, and the Gujarat Jamna Nagar Belt. So what will be the correct answer? This would be Gujarat Jamna Nagar Belt. 
30th question which of the following can be classified as consumer durables so all of these automobile refrigerator washing machine can be classified as consumer durable so automobile we use it to tra travel from one place to another refrigerator is used to cool our food washing machine is used to wash our clothes so these are all called as consumer durables Moving on to the next question, 31st question, a person who sets up his own business taking on financial risks in the hope of profit is called C, an entrepreneur. 32, an organization, especially a business of complicated, difficult and important plan with a view to earn money is known as, now that is known as an enterprise. B, 33rd question, the government has encouraged cotton industries through what? C both A and B. So A would also be correct, providing financial assistance and setting up the Khadi and Village Commission. This is also correct. 34th question, cottage industries are significant in our economy. Why are they significant in our economy? Let's read the following options. Cottage industries are significant for our economy because they need less capital. This is true. Petrochemical industries are usually located close to the oil refineries because they get their raw material from oil refineries. So as I said before, if you take petrochemical industries, they are located close to oil refineries because they get their raw material from oil refineries. As I said before, it would make no sense for you to base your petrochemical factory far away from the oil refineries or oil reserves. So C would be the correct answer. 35th question, the geographical factors which should be kept in mind while setting up an agro-based industry is, now, if you read all of these options, you can come to one conclusion and only one option, which is D, all of these. So to set up an agro-based industry, you would need raw material, you would need transportation, and you would need market. So what do you mean by raw material? You would need to base your agro-based factory near your availability of raw material. So say, for example, if you want to establish a sugar-based, agro-based, uh, agro-based factory which deals in sugarcane. So you would establish it somewhere in Maharashtra where the density of producing sugarcane is extremely high. You would uh, situate the factory near it. What do you mean by transportation? Transportation in the sense that the distance between the availability, the suitable availability of the specific raw materials and your factory, that is known as transportation. That is a factor called transportation, wherein you have to, you have to look at the costs. And then you have C, market. Market in the sense where you are putting up the factory, is there a huge market there or not? So say, for example, if, you, if you're establishing your factory near a city like Bombay or Chennai, where you know there's a huge population and therefore is a huge market. And you also know that there are ports in these cities which can go which, so that you can access other international tier markets. This is also the third factor which should be kept in mind while setting up an agro-based industry. So this is a rough uh, or a brief uh, overview on what factors should be kept in mind. 36th question, India is the dash largest sugar cane producer of the world after Brazil. So this would be a second. Sugar cane is used to produce what? It is used to produce sugar, good, khansari and D. So D would be the correct answer. Okay, so let's move on to the 38th question. Which of the following is not a byproduct of sugar? So jaggery, molasses, bagasse, or pressman. So jaggery would be the correct answer. It is not a byproduct of sugar. 39th question, the thick dark brown juice obtained from raw sugar during the refining process is known as molasses. 40th, molasses is used in what industry? It is used in all of these. It is used in the alcohol industry, production of citric acid, production of synthetic rubber. So D would be the correct answer. 41st question, the dry pulpy residue left after the extraction of juice from sugar cane is known as what? So it is known as bagus. C, 42nd, bagus is used in what? So bagus is used in all of these. What is all of these? Biofuel manufacture of pulp and manufacture of building materials. D would be the correct answer. 43rd question. The residue of the filtration of sugarcane juice is known as what? It is known as pressmen. 
which of the following states is the largest producer of sugar in India? Maharashtra is the largest producer of sugar in India. Let's move on. Moving on to the next question, 45th question, which of the following is not a sugar producing state in India? D, Jammu Kashmir is not a sugar producing state in India. 46th question, which of the following is the leading producer of sugarcane in peninsular India? They're not asking pan India. They're only asking about this India. They're not asking about the whole of India. They're only about asking about this India. So is it Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka or Andhra Pradesh? It is Tamil Nadu. B would be the correct answer. 47th question. The sugar industry is migrating to the south due to maritable climate, climate which is free from blue and frost. True. Availability of black soil, which is well drained and more fertile. True. Sugarcane of the south is of superior quality. True. So D would be the correct answer. Moving on to the next question. 48th. The sugar industry is faced by the following problems. Poor quality, true, inefficient and uneconomic nature of production, true, short crushing season, true, so D would be the correct answer. 49th question, which of the following statements is are not correct? India is one of the largest manufacturing countries and one of the largest exporters of cotton textiles in the world. Cotton textile industry is divided into three sectors. So the correct answer in this case would be B. Cotton textile industry is divided into three sectors. This is false. They are divided into power loom and hand loom sectors. So the correct option is cotton textile industry is divided only in two sectors. So remember that. 50th question, which of the following statements is are correct? They're not asking incorrect. They're asking correct. So will it be A, B, C, or D? The correct answer would be D, all of the above. Now let's read the following options. Maharashtra and Gujarat are the two most important cotton textile manufacturing states in India. That is true. Mumbai and Ahmedabad contribute 50% of the total installed rooms. That is also correct. Mumbai is called the Cottonopolis of India or the Lankai Shire of India. This is also true. So therefore, it will be D. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned this video. I'll be meeting you in the next video. This video is uploaded and is equal to class with Shivang. So you could check other videos as well as this video out. I've uploaded previous geography videos as well as videos covering subjects such as biology, chemistry, physics, computer history. So you could check all that videos out. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.